What a terrific turnout. I, I'm planning on staying this afternoon uh, for the first part, for the presentations from uh, the different groups, but I'm feeling a little guilty that I'm taking up one of the chairs. <laughs> there are still, still people coming in. Uh, but seriously, uh, Dr. Stumpf, Dr. Fogach, Mrs. Lauer, Mr. Hild, U.S. alumni, what a great privilege to be here uh, among such an amazing group of people. Uh, I've met many of you before at embassy alumni events and have enjoyed our conversations about your achievements and your projects. As you know, one of the main goals of the U.S. Embassy is to increase mutual understanding between the United States and Hungary. We do this in many ways, but one of our main priorities is to encourage Hungarians to visit and study in the United States. Whether you have been to the United States on a government-sponsored exchange, like the Fulbright Program and the International Visitor Leadership Program, or if you have participated in one of the many outstanding non-governmental exchanges represented here today, we are proud to call you our alumni. As our alumni, we are proud of you just as we are proud of our 42 Nobel, Nobel Prize winners who were Fulbright scholars, including Dr. Inichi Nagishi of Japan, who was just awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry less than a month ago. We value you as much as we do the more than 290 former and current heads of state, uh, uh, heads of governments, who were International Visitor Leadership Program participants. One of our most prominent alumni in Hungary right now is Dr. Tibor Nav Navracic, who doubtless all of you know and read about regularly in the newspaper. The Deputy Prime Minister and Justice Minister was an international visitor in 2008. I'm also happy to tell you that Minister Navracic found his experience valuable enough that he has agreed to film a video testimonial this coming Monday in honor of the 70th anniversary of the International Visitor Leadership Program. All of the distinguished speakers here today, Dr. Stumpf, Dr. Forgosh, Mrs. Lauer, and Mr. Hild, are also great alumni stories. But I want to congratulate each and every one of you, not just for your individual accomplishments, but also for your interest and participation in alumni activities, and for your enthusiasm in coming here today to help to create this new unified alumni group. Your willingness to join together and to engage in community service is a great example to us all. This is especially exciting in that you are starting a completely new organization. You're starting, with fre you're starting fresh and the creative possibilities are endless. We hope to see all of you use this forum as a chance to meet new people and to strengthen old friendships, to share ideas, and to offer each other support in your endeavors. I also hope yourself as alumni from U.S. programs, you will stand as role models to young Hungarians who are interested in coming to the United States. The world of opportunity continues to expand for young Hungarians. There are more and better opportunities to study in Europe and more and better opportunities for them to study right here at home. And while this is indisputably a great thing, we at Embassy Budapest are seeing fewer Hungarian students willing to take that transatlantic leap. Sometimes it feels too far. Sometimes it is simply too expensive. But as all of you here know, there are many excellent reasons for students to make that stretch and take that leap. There are over 4,000 universities and colleges in the United States. And most of these institutions have excellent in many cases, unparalleled research facilities that have been in the forefront of innovations. In fact, since 2000, the United States has spent $5 trillion on research and development and higher education. That is more than any country in the world. And perhaps it is for that reason that we have the largest number of Nobel laureates. Though I will note that the 
highest number of Nobel laureates per capita is still Hungary. <laughs> The style of teaching and learning that is practiced at US universities and colleges is also an important attraction. Unlike some countries where the systems can be rigid, the American educational system is open, flexible, and interactive, encouraging creative and critical thinking, allowing a diversity of opinions and problem solving through teamwork. Moreover, we have approachable and informal professors who create a very positive atmosphere for learning and interaction. Whether for four years or for four months, studying in the United States also offers the best opportunity to understand America and Americans better. This can give the competitive, a, a competitive edge to those who are thinking of eventually working in international business, government affairs, or international relations. Studying in a US university with a variety of students from all over the world, one also develops an international network of friends that can be very beneficial for one's future career. And finally, many US institutions offer great internship programs for students that prepare people for future employment. Thank you for indulging me in talking so specifically about why we believe it's such a fantastic opportunity for students from Hungary to go to the United States. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about all of you. Many of the alumni groups represented in this room have already been working hard to put their talents and time to contribute to their community. You're going to be hearing from all of these groups at length, but I'd just like to point out some of these stellar things that are being done. The Ivy Plus group that Mr. Hild represents is promoting education in the United States by having its members give talks, uh, sorry, promoting the, the value and what they learned at United States universities by going out to Hungarian high schools and talking about their experiences. The Civic Enterprises group organizes the Senior Mentor Program that sponsors experienced adults to tutor students at public elementary schools to improve their academic achievement. The Common Sense Society, rapidly becoming one of the most vibrant centers of discussion on politics, economics, and culture. The Hungarian Medical Association of America has been doing great work with its campaign to prevent smoking in public places, as well as bringing some of the best medical innovators to Hungary to share their knowledge during professional conferences. Some former congressional interns back returned here to Hungary who volunteer for, the Ro for a Roma organization have just shipped home appliances to Devacher. Am I saying that right? Devacher. Devacher, okay. <laughs> One of the villages that has been hit by the toxic sludge. And the Cal Sanctius training program members mentor high school, Hungarian high school students in entrepreneurship and raise money for scholarships for students who want to go to the United States. And of course, the Fulbright program. Most recently now, uh, members of Fulbright will be starting the Meet the Scientist Mentor program on November 19th, bringing the expertise of alumni scientists to Hungarian schools. These are only some of the great things that all of you are doing in reaching out to your own local communities in order to share your experiences. We are so excited for all of these reasons that you are here today. And the United States stands ready to help and assist in any way we can with this wonderful new organization. Thank you very much.